Hello and welcome to this section on Sites and Templates in SharePoint 2010. In this section we're going to take a first look at some of the main features of Sites, exactly what we mean by a site and so on, and we're going to look also at the meaning and use of templates. Now in this section we're going to do this in quite a sort of superficial way to begin with, just a good overview and then in later sections we're going to go into these things in quite a lot more detail. So let's get started. Now when I first installed SharePoint Foundation on this system I actually created two sites and we've seen both of those sites before. Now we're going to look at them in a little bit more detail and find out a bit more about them and a bit more about the differences between them. The first site I set up a desktop shortcut for to get it started that's Team Site Home so let me just double click that and open it up and this is what you might loosely call a standard SharePoint site and I'm going to return to the nature of this type of site um, in a couple of minutes time. The second site that we created was the central administration site and I actually set that up on my start menu so SharePoint 2010 central administration and the central administration site again if we look at the URL at the top here again Zorro is the machine this is installed on and as discussed earlier your port number will almost certainly be different from this but this is the one that's actually used for administering this SharePoint installation now the distinction between these two sites is very important and the central administration site within SharePoint Foundation is the only one which is different from what I might loosely call a standard type of site which we'll come back to in a moment. Now within SharePoint 2010 server there are some other special kinds of site and one of them that you'll almost certainly come across if you use the server version is my site and it's a facility that is provided although it can be blocked in a particular installation for users to set up personal information about themselves both information that they want to keep for themselves and also information they may want to publish to other people now within SharePoint Foundation which is what we're concentrating on at the moment we don't have that my site facility and the only type of special site is central administration now I'm going to come back to central administration later on for the moment let's go back to what I'm currently terming standard sites now let me explain some terminology the site we're looking at now which was created by default when we installed SharePoint 2010 Foundation and which we've customized just a little is a top level site and we will extend this by introducing subsites. So for instance if we were administering and setting up this site for Acme we may decide to create a subsite for each department so we may create say a personnel subsite a manufacturing subsite and so on when we have a number of sites and subsites together we call this a site collection now there are some exceptions to how and what site collections are but the general terminology is that a set of sites and subsites we will refer to as a site collection now at the moment this particular site collection just has this one site and this is referred to as a top level site and the other sites that I mentioned just now the ones perhaps for each department will be subsites of this one and what we're going to look at first is how to create a subsite of a top level site so the first thing we do is to go to site actions and click on new site and we're presented now with a number of options in terms of the type of site that we want to create now these include a basic meeting workspace a document workspace a decision meeting workspace and various others and we're going to look at these during the course and see most of the features of most of these different types of site now just one thing to explain here um, we see the terminology workspace quite a bit 
and the terminology workspace which features in many of these names is historically linked to earlier versions of SharePoint. Whenever we see the term workspace in SharePoint 2010 it's pretty safe to think of it as a site. So when we say a document meeting workspace or a basic meeting workspace we're talking about a basic meeting site or a social meeting site. So we choose a type. Let's start with a basic meeting workspace. And that's the type of site we're going to create first of all. Now the thing to notice here is that when I've selected basic meeting workspace I get a description of what that type of site or subsite actually is. It's a site to plan, organize and capture the results of a meeting. It provides lists for managing the agenda, meeting attendees and documents. Now I'm going to set this up first of all as a test site so I'm just going to put a name in here of test and we're actually going to remove this again a little bit later on and then when we come to building up the ACME structure we'll put in a much more comprehensive meeting workspace. The second box down here below the name there is one where we actually set up a URL. Now the default start here we've got HTTP Zorro and then we have our URL name. I'm just going to call that test as well and then I'm ready to create my site. Now when we create a site like this it's worth bearing in mind that SharePoint Foundation uses a defined structure for a site. Each of these types of site that we can create has a different default structure. Much of the content is empty, in fact it's virtually all empty, but the structure is in place and the structure is determined by things called templates and with a template it defines the nature of the site that you're actually creating. Now later on in this section and in more detail later on we're going to be looking at templates quite a bit but for the moment we're using the default template for a basic meeting workspace and if we click on create SharePoint 2010 will start to create our site. Now you don't need to worry too much about exactly what's on this page but I'm going to talk to you about it a little bit now because it very much reflects the importance of templates. With the content of this newly created test site you can see we have a number of sections on this page. We'll talk about what these sections are later on as well. And with each of them, we've got a name. This is the objective section, the attendees section, the agenda, the document library. These very much reflect the nature of the site that we've just created. Now, any site we create which relates to a meeting will have things like a place to define objectives, a place to list the attendees, a place to put the agenda, a place to put document library documents associated with it. And with each of these there is a command button that says add a new item. Now I'm going to come back to all of this uh, in a couple of sections time but for now just the general principle is if you have say a list of attendees there's nobody there at the moment the way we would manage attendees is to add an attendee here or modify delete an attendee and so on so we actually have the content defined it's all empty at the moment the content for this meeting workspace or meeting site is here and ready to use now a template has a couple of major kinds of components the first kind of component is, if you like, the structural component. So this is the one that defines what we get within that template. So in this particular case we've got objectives, agenda, document library, attendees, all of these parts of the structure of the site. But the other aspect of a template is the look side, the design and, if you like, the cosmetic side. So it's the design, the colors, the fonts and so on. And to give a fairly straightforward demonstration of how we can work with templates, I'm just going to look at this colors and fonts and so on side of things to begin with. Now given our new test site, if we go into site actions and site settings, we get what should by now be this familiar grouping of the various options that are available to us. Under look and feel, let's look at site theme. 
Now, there are a number of themes you can apply. At the moment, the default we have for a new site is no theme. If I select one of these themes, I'm going to select Azure, the colors that are used in that theme are demonstrated here. And in fact, if you click through all of the available color schemes, you can see what the options are available. Now, I'm going to choose one of these. I think I will choose Graham, which is pretty bright. Click on Apply. Uh, it takes SharePoint a moment or two to apply that change, but you can immediately see the change here, even in this grouping of the site setting options here. If I go back to my test site itself, then on my test site you can see the significant change to the look and feel there. Now let's suppose for a moment that we actually liked this particular colour scheme. and This is the one that we intended to use throughout our particular site collection. Now one option would be to create all of the other sites we need and make this same change to the theme, um, change it to the selected theme every time. But what's a much better way of approaching this is to create a new template which already has this theme applied. And this is basically what we're going to do now. Because once you've chosen your look and feel, you really want it as automatic as possible to make sure that the rest of your site collection or one of your site collections has the same look and feel. But I want to make another change first. And so I'm going to go back into Site Settings again. And this time I'm going to change some of the regional settings. Now obviously regional settings will very much depend on which region you're in and your own personal preferences. But under Site Administration we have regional settings. And with this particular site at the moment, we can see what the regional settings are. We have English United States as the locale. The sort order is general. I'll come back to sort order uh, in a little bit more detail later on. But basically we can stick with general for a pretty standard locale, English United States. The time zone we've got is Greenwich Mean Time, which may well definitely not be right. So let's suppose we were going for... Eastern Time, US and Canada. Calendar was set at Gregorian. Do we want an alternate calendar? No. What is our work week? Well, it's Monday to Friday, which is great. The first day of the week, Sunday. Start time is 8 a.m. I don't think so. I think we'll say 9 a.m. Uh, end time is 5 p.m. The first week of the year starts on January the 1st. And then we can either go for the 12-hour clock or the 24-hour clock. Let's go for a 24-hour clock. So having decided on the regional settings, click OK. We've now set up our own preferences for this particular site. Now one thing I haven't mentioned so far, which is actually quite useful, is to use what's called the system of breadcrumbs towards the top of the page. Now we're back at the site settings page here. And if I wanted to actually go back and look at the site itself, all of these here are links. So this breadcrumb trail along here, which is currently quite short, if I wanted to actually go back to my test site, I click on test. And whenever I go into something else, so for instance, if I go from there to site settings, and from site settings, I go to site theme, the breadcrumbs build up along here. If I just want to go back to site settings at any time, I just click on site settings. Now back at site settings, what I want to do is to save this site as a template. So save type as template, click. We give it a name. Uh, we're going to call it test template. I'm not going to keep this one, but just to show the principle. The template name will make test template and we'll just say it can be deleted as a description to remind us later on and click on OK. So there we are, we have a confirmation message, operation completed successfully and our new 
template is ready. Now we're going to see how to use that in the next section so please join me for that.